As Chinese and American appetites for all kinds of energy grow, an international meeting here in Washington last week focused more on cooperation than on the growing competition. The first ever clean energy ministerial ended with 10 agreements among two dozen governments, and these are partnerships designed to reduce energy waste and rev up clean technology research. The countries represented here account for 80 percent of the world's energy use, and we're taking aggressive, immediate actions together to confront the energy challenge head on. And we know the energy challenge won't wait, and we won't wait either. Those actions agreed to by world energy ministers involve projects as complex as carbon capture, that is containing and storing carbon dioxide emissions, and as simple as making our household appliances super efficient. Leaders say these initiatives will save enough energy to eliminate the need for 500 mid-sized power plants over the next two decades. We intend to join this, and we have ourselves done some work in this area in India, and we feel that a global program will definitely uh, introduce greater scale and would make for a much greater participation. That participation includes rivals within the private sector. Target and Walmart are joining a ministerial partnership called Global Superior Energy Performance. The group says plants and buildings like these account for almost 60 percent of world energy usage. Cutting that total could mean lower expenditures for companies and lower prices for consumers. Companies do save money, but I think it's more important for the environment that there's less strain on our limited resources and it allows us to produce, you know, a more environmentally uh, conscious product out of a more environmentally conscious plant. And after months spent dealing with the Gulf disaster, Secretary Chu says that environmental consciousness that is moving toward what he calls the world's future energy horizon, that should not come out of crisis alone. If you just react to uh, a tragedy, a crisis as like that, and, and, and go forward only reacting to immediate crises and not look forward and ahead in things, um, uh, we will, um, well, to use a pun, get ourselves into deep water. The next edition of the Clean Energy Ministerial will be in the United Arab Emirates next spring, and the Obama administration is hoping to clear a major clean energy legislative hurdle by then.